Question. Does your bedroom turn into the room that you just throw stuff in because you're trying to get other things done and you think, well, I'll just put it in the bedroom for right now and then, yeah, I'll deal with it later. Well, that's what my bedroom has turned into. So tonight I am working on my declutter in my bedroom. I'm trying to get ready to go to Texas. I'm going to be gone for about two weeks. And, um, yeah, I like to have everything cleaned up and ready before I leave. And, well, let me just show you what I got to deal with. I never did get then to put these pillows up in the closet for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that myself. And as you can see over here, I've got some magazines I need to go through. I think some of them I'm going to take on my trip, so I probably won't throw any away. This is... This was off my bathroom wall that is a shoe holder, and I'm gonna put it in my closet. So I need to go through it. This is stuff I've decluttered that I'll go through with you guys and show y'all what I finally decided to get rid of. And this over here, I need to go through all of this. Um, most of it's just empty things that I just need to get through with. I got a trash bag in here. These are to be donated, and yeah, this is my quilting, and I don't know what to do with stuff, and this is my quilting, and I don't know what to do with stuff, so I'm going to get started. I think what I'm going to do is just, um, well, I'm going to just start right now. This is, just needs to go to the bathroom. This is um, for my ladies club. We save these for the uh, animal rescue, so they can use them for... The animals that need medications and this is some quilting stuff okay I'm not real sure this is all just some of my stash from my quilting this is a bird part of a bird cage that we have gotten rid of so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this away and I'm gonna throw this is a lot of things that I just had stuff stored in and this is trash so I'm gonna throw that out and the rest of this stuff is sewing notions, I think. Now, nope, here's a receipt. I don't even know what this is. Oh, how cool is this? This is a, a little, uh, oops, sorry about that. This is a lit, lit, like you can, you know, read. Ooh, I like this a lot. Definitely keeping that. That will go in my sewing kit. This was in that stack of containers over there. I'm not going to get rid of any of my containers just yet because of this kind of stuff. And that way I can keep my thread in there. So, there's that. Okay, I'm going to have weird shadows because of the lighting in here. This is all sewing notions. And this is all church stuff, so I need to put it up. God, a lot of this is just putting things up. Um, this is a painting that my husband's dad painted. It's on glass. It's reverse art. And as you can see, it's real stained here. And I've been trying to get it off, and I can't. I, I can't get it cleaned. So I think I'm going to have to... Get a new frame for it because I don't want to. I don't want to lose this. But this is glass, and I've been afraid to put it up anywhere. But I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put it downstairs in the basement with my other paintings, and um, worry about this later. Okay, a lot of this is. I brought this basket up because I'm going to use it to put the blankets in that the dogs use during the night. Yeah, that's Lynn's. Thing. He needs to, uh, here's some more flat, or, um, fat quarters, flat quarters, flat, fat quarters. This is jewelry repair kit, and this needs to go into my binder, my control binder for the house. So, and a stray cockatoo feather. I have background noise. So I'm going through all of these magazines, and I'm going to see which ones that I want to keep. Of course, you know, this is trash, 
um, my handyman. I really like this. I know a lot of this stuff you can find on the internet, but I really like this. Okay, I made some progress. I'm going to keep these. I will put with my, my quilting things. Okay, much better. This is just my planner, and this is what I have left over. I got rid of, what, four, five, six magazines maybe, and a lot of, of junk. Okay, this was on the floor. I put my bathing suit back up, but I'm going to keep our water shoes and these are drinks that you buy and then you get free refills at white water and uh, they're a little bit cheaper at silver dollar city and i just keep these in this bag and then that way when we decide to go i just grab it up just all i have to do is get my bathing suit and that kind of stuff there now, our shoes and our drinks are all ready to go. When I wash our beach towel, I will put it in there so I won't forget it this time, and we're set. Okay, these are things that I have decluttered out of my bathroom that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, this was just a candle that from Bath & Body Works that it lost its, lost its fragrance, to be honest. And during this declutter, one thing I've learned, not to hang on to things that I don't like, and I don't like these. These are face washing towels, and I kept putting them back and putting them back. I'd opened them, you know, and after you open them, they're going to dry out after a while. And I kept opening them up, then I wouldn't use them. Same here with the Dollar Tree ones. I didn't care for these, and I wouldn't use them. I mean, I was dreading washing my face. These are a couple of travel shampoo things that I would use, try, say, oh, I'm going to keep them because I'll use it, but they don't stay closed good, and I'm just throwing them away. There's no point in keeping them. I'm not going to use them. This I liked for the lotion, but I didn't like the scent, and I won't wear it. It's old. I'm getting rid of it. These do not. These were little cheapy tooth cleaners. I use real floss. I'm a floss girl. And I don't like these and Lynn doesn't either. And I've had them for, I don't know how many years. I'm throwing them out. This, I was, I think I decluttered this the other day and said I was gonna try it one more time. I don't like these. This does not work for me for some reason. And it's just really a pain to get in and out of. This was full. I was using, this is just an, uh, an example I wasn't using this. I got it in a freebie box. And I tried it a few times and I looked it up. It's $68 for four ounces. And what is this? I can't, don't have my glasses on. I can't tell how much this is. But anyway, I would not throw this away because it was such an expensive product. And even though I didn't pay for it, it was a sample. I don't like it. It's been sitting in my drawer. Why am I keeping it? It doesn't matter if it costs that much. I'm not going to use it. Silly me. This I kept trying to repair. I've got so many blushes. There's no reason to keep trying to repair this. This thing, just the top of it broke off. So I'm going to throw it away. This was an e.l.f. One of those lip exfoliators. I I used to really like these, but now I can't, it's just, I don't like it. I wouldn't use it. This is the uh, Well Rested. I've had this so many years. It was a freebie in a box. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use this. It's bare minerals. And I tried use, I tried it on my hand and it was all oily and nasty. And this is an eyebrow um, gel. Seriously, I have no eyebrows. I mean, seriously. I would love for my eyebrows to be thick enough to where I could use this. This is years old, but I didn't want to throw it away because it's Anastasia. It came in a kit. This was perfume that I tried on, and I've been saving it because I just knew that I was going to use it one time. It's Chloe, and it smells like skunkweed on me. And this is tea tree oil. <laughs> There wasn't anything in it, so yeah, time to throw it out. An old eye brush from e.l.f. This is another package of those little toothpick things that I can't use. This, I hate to see. I have used this ever since Sherry gave it to me, and I love it. Love it, love it. But, as you can see, 
I have used it quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell there. I've used this quite a bit. I used all the favorite colors, and yeah, it's starting to to not work well. It's just not. It's not you know coming off. What do you, what do you say? It's just not. It's not working. Throw it away, Jenis. I thought I'd use it on this last trip, but nah. And this one, as you can see, I have hit pan and it's kind of tearing up my brushes every time I try to use it. So it's time to get rid of it. And I loved it. It was Eve Pearl. And I've had this one for years and years. It's one of my favorite palettes. I am not going to repurchase it again for some time. And it started getting really, really powdery on me. Uh, eyeshadows do go bad. I have, I'm learning that they do go bad. I didn't think they did, but they do. So I'm getting rid of it. So I've done a major decluttering in my um, bathroom and in some of my travel products, which I need to go through some of my travel stuff at, while I'm packing and get rid of some more of the stuff. But yeah, I made a good dent. Okay, so I am finished for the night. This is my bag for today. This is all trash. Um, I leave that on. I can't get this to close. I need to do some something for this. So I'll, I'll just leave that trash can there so it'll stay closed. The basket is emptied. It just has a blanket in it. I went through all of my quilting things and they're all organized and I've gotten rid of any of the trash that was in there. Okay, I got everything I wanted to get done, done, completed tonight. Um, now all I need to do is really clean up the bedroom. Um, I do want to work on my closet tomorrow. There's some things in there that I need to take down to the basement and I think I'm going to go ahead and just take my donate to the center next week instead of waiting until I get a bag full because I'm going to be gone for a while. And, um, you know, just to, I want to have the house clean for my husband for when I'm gone. And uh, I'm going to work on the basement tomorrow. And I don't think you guys have seen my basement. So, um, yeah, I'll work on that tomorrow along with my closet. I, I'm sorry I haven't had so many videos up, but I've been decluttering, but I just haven't been videoing the declutter. So, you know, as I go, as I clean house, as I see things during the day, that's what I've been doing, just setting things aside, going, okay, this isn't staying in the house. So, that's kind of how I've been working it. So, anyway, I hope you guys are having a lot of progress with your declutter as well. And tomorrow, I will get started on, let's see, the closet, and I'm going to start working on the basement and getting things ready to go, um, getting things cleaned and ready to go for, I just like to have the house nice when I leave. I hate to come back to a dirty house anyway, but my husband will be home and I'd like for it to be clean while he's here, you know, without me, because uh, I know he's not gonna do any deep cleaning when I'm gone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Taking care of the birds and the dogs and the cat and himself will be a full-time job, I assure you. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.